here are five questions to do with the 68, 95, 99.7 rule for normal distributions. So hit pause, have a read through, see if you can work them out, and then I will go through the answers. Okay, so here's the first question which says, a bell-shaped distribution has a mean of 26.2 and a standard deviation of 3.75. What percentage of values are greater than 33.7? So I've noticed the words bell-shaped distribution, which would be the first thing I'd watch out for in an exam or in a test. And so I'm just going to draw myself a quick bell curve and draw what they've described here. So it has a mean of 26.2 and we have a standard deviation of 3.75. So that's how far I'm going to travel in each direction. Now what I'm looking for is 33.7, so that's upwards of this point, so I'll start by calculating those ones. So 26.2 plus 3.75, so I'm just going to do that on my calculator, so 26.2 plus 3.75 is 29.95, and again we get to 33.7. So now I've gone two standard deviations up and I've hit this number that I'm looking for. So we want to know what percentage of values are greater than 33.7. Well, if I've traveled two standard deviations either side, I'm talking about there being 95% of data values in the middle, which means in the two tails, with the 5% that's left over, it's split between these two. So there's 2.5% in each of these ends. So that means the percentage of data values greater than 33.7, the answer is 2.5%. So here's the next question. A group of data follows an approximately normal distribution, there's my keywords to mean that we're going to use this rule, with a mean of 227 and a standard deviation of 17. What percentage of values are less than 176? Okay, so draw yourself a quick bell curve and put your mean in the middle at 227 and are we going up or down? We're looking for a value that's downwards of that so I'm going to go down here first. So I bring up my calculator and I say 227 minus 17 which is my standard deviation and I get 210 for this point here and again I get to 193 and again I get to 176 So that means that I'm three standard deviations away and they want to know what percentage of values are less than that point. So they want to know everything that's in this tail here. So if I've gone three standard deviations either side, I'm talking about there being 99.7% of data in the center there, which means that the 0.3 left over must be split between this tail and this tail, which means there's 0.15% left in each tail. So what percentage of values are less than 176? The answer is 0.15%. So question 3 says a distribution is approximately normal, which is great, there's those keywords, with a mean of 110 and a standard deviation of 8.5. What percentage of values are between 101.5 and 127? So I'm going to draw myself a bit of a bell curve and put my mean in the middle at 110. Now, I'm traveling 8.5 in each direction, so I'll start with 110 minus 8.5 is 101.5. So that's that first point, one standard deviation away. Now, 110 plus 8.5 is 118.5. Okay, so let's keep going. Plus another 8.5 gets us to 127. Aha, so I found the point that I'm looking for, but this one's one standard deviation down, and this one's two standard deviations up, so it's not as simple as it first appears. It's not just a matter of answering, you know, 68, 95, or 99.7 are in that range. But we know that we're looking for something between here and here, so that would be the end of my 68 mark and here would have been my 95 mark. The easiest way that I can think of to work this out is not to think about what you're looking for. So we are actually looking for this section in the middle here. 
but it's actually to, easier to think about what you're not looking for because what we're not looking for is anything that's in that tail up to that point and also anything that's in that tail after that point. Those are the bits that we've excluded and we know we've got 100% overall. So this 127 line corresponds to two standard deviations up. So that's the 95 rule. So what's in that tail? If you've got 95 in the middle section, you've got 5% remaining, which is split between two tails. So there's 2.5% in that tail. Now this one over here at 101.5, that was one standard deviation down, so it corresponded to the 68 rule. So if you've got 68% in the middle, you've got 32% left over, which is split between two tails, meaning they each must have 16%. So that tail must be 16%. So we've got a tail of 16% and a tail of 2.5% and this is not to scale obviously because those two look kind of even. Uh, those two tails are not part of what we're trying to find in the middle. So this pink section is going to be the whole lot, 100%, minus that 16% and minus the 2.5%. So you just work that on, on your calculator. And so the answer is 81 0.5%. Question 4. A normally distributed data set has a mean of 8.2 and a standard deviation of 1.41. What percentage of values are less than 9.61? Okay, so it's normally distributed so I can use this rule and I'll draw myself a bit of a bell curve with a mean in the middle at 8.2. Now, we've got a standard deviation of 1.41 and we're looking for the point 9.61. So 8.2 plus 1.41, what do you know? It's exactly 9.61. So we've travelled one standard deviation up. Now the question is asking what percentage of values are less than that number? So from here all the way down to the end. So they want to know everything in there. So there's a couple of ways we could work that out. We could calculate what that side is or we could calculate what's left over in this tail and take it away from 100. So the two versions go something like this. Because we're one standard deviation away, we know, we know we're talking about the 68% rule. So if we've got 68% in the middle there, we know there must be 32% left over, which means that there's 16% in each tail. So doing it this blue way, we would say, okay, well, we've got 68% there, 68%, and we know we've got 16% in this bit, so we need to add those two together. So we would say 68% plus 16%, which is 84%. And that would be our answer. If we were doing it this green way, what we would have said is, okay, if there's 68% in the middle, there must be 16% in this tail. So we'll just say, okay, it's the whole thing minus that leftover tail. So it's 100% minus 16%, which is 84%. Either way, you get to the same answer.